Hi, I'm Richard Armitage. We're going to play a game called True Crime or Crime Fiction because I've written a book which is crime fiction. It's called Geneva, set in Switzerland. Number one. A series of unsolved murders with one thing in common. Each of the deaths bears an eerie resemblance to the crimes depicted in classic mystery novels. I think that might be true crime. It's crime fiction. Oh. Amazing. <laughs> the amazing Peter Swanson, a Faber author. When a devoted wife and mother in Sydney goes missing, her husband, a high school football teacher, claims she's left him and his children and promptly moves his children's babysitter, who is also one of his students, into the family home. 36 years later, a journalist decides to investigate the cold case and uncovers a story of strangely close twin brothers, teenage student lovers and probable murder. That sounds so convoluted that it has to be true crime. Good. It's the story yes. of this podcast. True life is more complicated and more crazy than fiction. When a woman discovers her father has rejected her dying mother's pleas for help, she vows revenge and sets about to kill every member of his family. They all sound like true crime to me. <laughs> it's true crime. It's crime fiction. What's it called? How to Kill Your Family. I knew that. I knew that, but I thought it was based on a true story. <laughs> to be fair, there's probably a lot of crossover, isn't there? a lot of crossover. An 18-year-old woman is found dead in a phosphate pit in Florida. Two years later, her husband is convicted and sentenced to life in prison. However, as the years pass, it becomes clear that not all the evidence for the case has been considered, evidence that strongly points to another suspect. Is an innocent man serving a life term in jail for a murder he didn't commit. I think that might be true crime. True crime. True crime. I want to know what happens now. A successful radio presenter meets a handsome cardiologist on Facebook, Eva Couch. Soon she's tangled up in a love affair conducted primarily on phone, email and social media that seems too good to be true. And then she discovers the deception of almost unimaginable, almost unimaginable proportions. I think it's crime fiction. It's true crime. Really? <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. I mean, they all sound like true crime to me. A man hosts a New Year's Eve party for his neighbours in the local village at his lakeside holiday homes. By the time the clock times midnight, the host is floating dead in the freezing waters of the lake. And as the investigation gets underway, it becomes clear that everyone is a suspect. I think it's crime fiction. Correct. I, no bloke would host a New Year's Eve party. They're all suspects. Very Agatha Christie. Love it. Yeah.